Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Ghadaybiya Palace His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has affirmed that the government continues to hold more housing projects, develop infrastructure and the real estate urban sector to achieve the aspirations of uh, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop all services provided to citizens. They also affirmed the government's keenness to support the development march in the kingdom through the use of major companies accredited locally and internationally for the implementation of development projects in all sectors and benefit from their potentialities and expertise in reaching the highest standards of quality and efficiency. The Royal Highness has stressed that Bahrain is dealing with the rapid changes and challenges facing the world through mechanisms aimed at maintaining its security and stability and ensuring the sustainability of economic growth and diversifying sources of income for the benefit of current and future generations. They also hailed the successes of Bahraini citizens in various fields, which affirms their determination to achieve success and overcome various challenges and difficulties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting at Ghadaybiya Palace. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of the new Hijri year, wishing them many happy returns. The cabinet hailed the results of the visit of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his accompanying delegation in response to the invitation of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which is considered the first visit of an Indian Prime Minister to the Kingdom. The cabinet affirmed the importance of the decisions His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister held with the Indian Prime Minister and their role in increasing cooperation fields. He noted the importance of the memorandums of understanding that have been signed during the visit and its role in strengthening Bahraini-Indian cooperation ties and various investment, economic, commercial, health, scientific, technological and energy and space affairs. He hailed the source or the course of bilateral relations and the development of all vital aspects. The cabinet commended uh, the joint statement issued by Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates and its affirmation of continuing all political, military, aid and developmental efforts with the participation of coalition countries who did not hesitate to aid the Yemeni people in confronting terrorist Houthi militia. The cabinet noted the sacrifices of the Arab coalition and its role in maintaining regional security and stability. It reiterated Bahrain's stance in support of the coalition forces led by Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the recent or the success of his medical checkups that he recently undergone, wishing him abundant health. In implementation of the Royal Directives on the Effective Application of Alternative Punishment and the Directives of His Royal Highness, said the Prime Minister developed programs that expand the application of alternative punishment commensurate with the case of the convicts and ensure their integration into society. The Cabinet reviewed a report submitted by the Minister of Interior, which included a briefing on the application of alternative punishment. The meeting reviewed the indicators of the labor market for the first half of 2019 and the developments of the National Employment Programme, which was launched in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the recommendation on the Coordination Committee of the Coordination Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa with the aim of promoting employment and rehabilitation and integrating citizens into the labor market. 
In accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to implement the executive procedures to activate decision 80 of the year 2018 on the conditions and controls to grant two hours of rest to an employee with a disability or caring for a person with a disability, the Cabinet was briefed on the memorandum submitted by the Minister of Health, which included the Ministry's coordination with the authorities concerned. The cabinet approved a draft law amending some provisions by the pen of the penalties law issued by decree 15 of the year 1976 and referred it to the legislative authorities. The session approved the restructuring of the National Committee to Control Smoking and All Types of Tobacco under the chairmanship of the Minister of Health and the membership of representatives from the relevant authorities. The meeting discussed three agreements and four MOUs between Bahrain and Italy for cooperation in a number of fields. The cabinet referred the draft charter of cooperation between OPEC members and non-OPEC producing countries to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The session approved the designation of the uh, competent administrative authorities and the minister concerned with the implementation of the provisions of decree by law 21 of the year 1989, issuing the law of associations and clubs to be the, to be the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs. The cabinet referred to the legislative authority a draft law amending some provisions of decree by law 14 of the year 2002 regarding the exercise of political rights prepared on the basis of a law proposal submitted by the Shura Council. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghibiya Palace the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa who presented to His Royal Highness the new Board of Directors of the Bahrain Petroleum Company Bobco headed by Dr. Dawood Nasif where His Royal Highness congratulated them on their appointment wishing them success in enhancing the company's role in serving the national economy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the kingdom has a de has developed the oil sector that keeps up with the latest global systems, adding that strengthening investment in the oil industry supports the government's directives in development based on increasing oil revenues and diversifying other sources of income. His Royal Highness noted that Bobco, with its distinguished national expertise and caters, is a source of pride for Bahrain and a success story that demonstrates the efficiency of Bahraini people and their ability to build economic and industrial edifices. The Premier affirmed the importance of the oil sector's role as an essential part or pillar for the national economy in light of the great resources and investment prospects it possesses. He stressed that the kingdom is keen on developing investment in the sector through establishing large development projects to increase production efficiency and provide all facilities that attract international oil companies. He hailed the expertise and abilities of the new Bobco Board of Directors and their achievements in the various positions they held, expressing his confidence in their ability to achieve further development for the company. Company. His Royal Highness affirmed that the oil industry march in Bahrain is a source of pride for its qualitative leap that contributed to supporting all economic activities and increasing development and construction in the kingdom. He called on the board of directors to continue working for the development of the company and raising its production efficiency. His Royal Highness was briefed by the Minister of Oil and the board of directors on the latest developments in the oil projects being implemented and the refinery modernization project. For his part, the Minister of Oil expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his interest in the oil sector and the keenness to develop it, which was reflected in His Royal Highness's patronage of the ceremony to lay the foundation stone for the Bobco Refinery Modernization Project. He also affirmed the Ministry and Bobco's keenness to implement the vision of His Royal Highness to develop the oil sector in Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed the Heritage Sport Committee under the Bahrain Olympic Committee to organize a new competition under the name of Al Wasiya, in accordance with the hadith Teach Your Children Swimming, Archery, and Horse Riding. The competition comes in accordance with the Sunnah and spreading it among the Bahraini community, which is known for its commitment to religion. The competition will be organized by the Heritage Sport Committee in November. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi bint Abdullah Zainal, hailed the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to settle the financial dues of athletes, administrators, technicians and trainers, which was a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Zainal affirmed that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's initiative to develop and implement an urgent plan to pay the financial dues of athletes, administrators, technicians and trainers will contribute to making further sports achievements for the kingdom. He's, she stated that the directives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to resolve athletes' financial issue affirm his keenness on developing the sports movement in Bahrain. She added that the Representatives Council support the directives and initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to develop the sports sector and make further achievements.